Now I want to show you the most effective way to practice those skills that we've gone over. Air golf is where you start. In my research at the University of Florida, I studied extensively how people learn how to play golf, and I found that there's a better way than the old way of learning golf, which is to start with the mechanics, to be on a practice tee on a golf course, or to be at a driving range, and then you beat balls after balls, and then somehow you go out and then you play the game. There's no reference to how those skills are integrated into the game that way. It's kind of like going spear fishing, learning all the skills of how to shoot the spear without knowing how to swim. Well, you have to know how to swim first and experience the medium that you're going to use your spear gun. Now, it's the same way with golf. The old-fashioned way is to learn by those fundamentals. In fact, a lot of golf courses don't even allow kids to go on the course till they're seven years old. Well, the solution is this new way that we have decided to present to you all. It's called play, practice, play. In other words, you know, with your air golf and your first touch, you don't need a golf course. You don't need a golf facility. You can use a park like this right in my neighborhood and set it up and learn all those basic skills before you even go to the golf course. And using the training aids like the air golf flyer and the first touch club training aids give you the feelings you need to then go out into the golf course and go into the transition stage. So let's play a hole. Let me show you the rules of just how to play air golf. You can see that we've set up our golf course here. We've got our tee markers, our holes, which are the hula hoops out there at different distances. Now, if you're starting out with little kids, what I suggest you do is set up the course like this and just lay the balls on the ground, have them pick up a ball and just say, just throw it any way they want with one arm or two and have them throw it towards the hoop and say when you get in there's your score and then go to the next one because it's got to be fun and they have to see that this is what the game is going from point A to point B and putting a score on the game. Now when you get up to play the actual game you want to start between your tee markers hold the ball in front of you and then what we do is we basically do our up high and down low and then we let it go oh my gosh so I held on a little bit too much there, but then this gives me a good feeling for the next shot. So wherever the ball goes, then you want to pick it up. And now I'm going to do a little less swing with my arms back and through and back and through and throw it on up towards the hole. These are where the skills really pay off because you choke down even a little bit more. I'm swinging my arms in the ball. I'm trying to go into the hoop. There's my score. So you can see that I'm developing these skills in the context of playing the game. So then I go to my next tee and I do the same thing up high, down low, and let it go. This should look real familiar to you. This is the ladder drill, which I showed you earlier. And this is a great way to practice, especially if you're working with young kids. After they've played the game, air golf, then you want to set up a little practice station like this with the four shots in air golf. And we want to start up here with a putt or a short shot. And then this is the little swing in front of me uh, into the hoop. Then we go back to the uh, chip shot. And again, the most important thing here is to keep the ball right below the hand, swing in the arms, a little longer now for the chip into the hoop. Now we go back for the, uh, the medium shot or the pitch. And the great thing about this is what you're doing is you're teaching them the skills needed to go out and play. And this is a longer one, swinging the ball with the arms, throwing it all the way out, a little bit long that time. So the essence is you're getting the skills, you're seeing how they're integrated into playing the game, and you're developing this awareness of the distance and the direction with the arms swinging. In essence, you're seeing it, you're feeling it and then you're swinging it and this is going to be carried all the way through first touch golf transition golf and all the way to real golf so let's go to the full shot and there again when you're playing these shots you're practicing those fundamentals seeing it feeling it and swinging it up high down low and then let it go awesome and that's what this is all about this practicing play practice play now, after I go through these stations, especially if you're working with little kids, then you want to get them back out to play and then come back and practice. And if they've got friends, 
They can do it together, and then they can go over and start playing different golf games. They can pair up and play best ball or scramble or shamble, and they'll have so much fun, but they always want to bring them back to go through these stations and remind them about up high, down low, let it go, see it, feel it, and swing it. Here's our first touch golf hole. You can see I've got it in a playground here, and you can set up one, two, three, or four holes, whatever you want. Now here's how we play the hole. I've got my tee markers and I'm ready to go. Now if you've got little kids, just lay the clubs down. Before you give them all the rules, just give them a club and a tee and a ball and let them just go play and have some fun. Then when they come back and they practice the skills, they'll understand what they need to do to practice in order to play effectively in the future. So we set up to the ball, we make our up high, our down low, and then we simply let her go all the way up to the hole and then we simply take our tee with us for the next shot and this is where the skills are going to become involved because when they do go to the ladder drill they're going to be practicing these skills in the context of playing the game so that's why it's so important to get kids out there playing first tee it up feel my sh shot here now I'm on the green and I have to always use my putter within the green and I'm setting up and now I'm feeling the distance stroking back and through rolling it all the way up and into the hole here's how you make your practice effective after you've played you come back set up the stations with the four shots just like we did with air golf starting with a putter lining your toes up with the board stroking back and through rolling it right up into the cup. Feel that distance. It's all about seeing it, feeling it, and then swinging it. Feeling that circle. That's what it's all about. Getting distance awareness. Now I go to my club and I'm going to practice again. Feeling that distance awareness back and through right up to the hole. Now for the pitch shot. I'm going to set up with my feet parallel. Get my grip. Feel that distance, it's distance awareness, seeing it, feeling it, and then I'm gonna swing it. And right here, I'm just gonna swing back and bring it through and chip it right up to the hole. And then for the full swing, we're gonna go back a little bit farther. This is how you practice effectively because you need to feel these skills in the context of playing, which you've done a little earlier. So now on the full swing, it's very important to go through your routine again setting up square, getting the right grip, setting up to the ball, and we go up high and down low, and then we trust that circle right through the ball, right up to the hole, almost in the hole. So this is effective practice. You play, you practice, and you play. If you've got more than one kid, take them out and play all kinds of games. Set up two or three holes, that's how you learn the game and then you're going to carry those right on over to transition golf all those skills and the fun of playing the game now we're going out on the golf course we're going to take all those feelings that we've learned with air golf and first touch golf and apply them to transition golf it's going to be so much more fun and the most important thing about it is we've got a great big hole to use instead of that small one we're going to get to that when we play real golf but in the meantime, for transition golf, we're going to use this big hole here and we're going to set up and use our same fundamentals for putting that we did when we were working with first touch golf. Then we simply set up to the hole, roll it right up to the hole, and in the hole it's going to be so much more fun and easy for you to play. Now when we get back off the golf green, we're going to use our special grips and you want to put your tape on there, one color on one side and one on the other, so that when you put your left thumb on, it's going to go there and the right thumb's there. So that gives you a perfect balanced grip to the face. We do these with all of our clubs, especially for the junior golfers. So now we're going to a chip shot. Remember, a chip shot is just an easy little shot on the green and roll it to the hole. Great thing about transition golf is you get to tee it up everywhere once you get off the green all the way to your tee shot, you tee it up. So that's going to make it a lot more easier along with the grip and the big hole. So you can see also we have some limited flight balls too. 
these are little tennis balls and you may want to start your juniors out with these on the golf course with regular golf clubs. But you can either tee the ball up with a tee or you may want to use a little rubber tee like this that are, is available. And so uh, I'm going to just do this little chip shot. And there again, you know, we're just going over the same basics we have shown you before. That ball position, you want to hit that nice little rolling shot to the hole. Back in the stance, we roll it right up to the hole. Then you may want to use your little teeing mat. This makes it really easy to play. And then again, work on the position, work on swinging the arms, rolling it right up to the hole. Pretty easy. That's what makes transition golf so easy. The big hole, the perfect grip, and teeing it up everywhere. Now let's go back in this ladder drill, just like we did with the other shot, starting with the short one, then to the chip, and now we're going to go to the third drill, and that's the pitch shot. Now the perfect scenario is if you find a golf course that has a practice green and you can start up with a putt, then a chip, practice the ladder drill, come back here, and then back for a little longer shot with your full swing. But for the pitch shot, now we're going to tee the ball up again, which you do everywhere on the golf course. Tee it down nice and low. And then we're going to go through those same feelings of always rehearsing and feeling the distance just like you did with first touch. Then we simply swing back and through, pop it right up by the hole. And then, you know, you may want to use your little rubber tee to tee it up. Feeling the distance, swinging it back and through. Same thing with this one, just swing it back and through and pop it right up by the hole. And then you may want to use even your uh, limited flight ball. This is great for the little kids to feel it, see back and through. <laughs> the best shot of all. So now let's go back, continue our ladder drill and go back about 120 yards where we'll work with the full swing. Now some golf courses will have up front tees for juniors or you can start from the 150 yard marker but you really want to make it fun and easy to be able to play. And then again we're going through those same fundamentals the beautiful thing is you get to tee the ball up everywhere and then always take your time getting the correct grip because this is the heartbeat of the golf swing, that left thumb on there and the right. And then again, remember this was our exercise. We set up to the ball, we do our up high, down low, and then we just simply let it go right up by the hole. And you may want to use your little rubber tee. Same idea. Take your time now because we're doing this ladder drill and you're feeling those distances with the swing. We set up. We go up high. And down low, you feel those same feelings that we had. And then all of a sudden, you just go right through the ball, right up by the hole. And you can also do the same thing with your limited flight balls. Up high, down low, and then let it go. Now you've gone through the transition game. You've got those feelings. You'll have confidence in getting the ball up in the air. And then in your own timing, go ahead and put the ball down on the ground, maybe on the practice tee, and work with it. You know, you want to use this as a training way to get into the real game and then go from the big hole down to the small regulation hole. You're going to have so much fun playing this game of golf because you've transitioned all the way from air golf to first touch to transition. And remember the essence of the golf swing is to swing in a circle and to see it, feel it, and swing it.